What's happening, y'all? Go, go, go! I'm not Rocco, so I don't know what the fuck you Nah, this is not a podcast. Welcome to the Johnson Bad about? Podcast. I'm here with my co-host. But no, Johnson, yeah. Oh, that, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I do know that. But yeah, today we're talking about uh, Jackson State pros and cons. We can start off with the, the cons first. Yeah, I'm going to start. There's no pros, no cons. Video's over with. No, I think one of the cons is... <laughs> This might be for all HBCUs, like the financial aid situation. Yeah. Oh, my God. They got to be like the top con. Like, because I know people that go to PWIs and they be getting these refund check like the first week of school. Of school? Yeah. And we be getting ours Thanksgiving break. I know some people literally that still ain't getting When I needed it the whole, the whole semester. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That got to be a big con. Like, financial aid at all HBCUs, they talk about it, it's man. It's cool. Trash. Yeah. Oh. Have trash. Cav not trash. Cav not trash. Cav not trash. It's, it's what you rate the Cav out of 1 out of 10? I give it a 5. 5. What that is, Tommy? That's not trash. That's not trash. The trash is free. You hit a girl that's a 5.5 before. I didn't. Why are you comparing food to a girl? Because, I'm telling you, you're saying it's trash, but if it was a female, you would say she trash. A 5 is trash. No, it's no, not. a 3 is a trash. Three. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think they're going to catch me doing that video. It's like Wednesday. Wednesday, I get that bitch about a bit. No, nah, pants. Because if they have mac and cheese, I get about an eight. You want to know why? Because the burger's always good. They're never not good. Yeah. The burgers are always good. Yeah, sometimes they have chicken sandwiches. Then when you go in the morning, they have the omelets. Oh, yeah. yeah I got like breakfast, breakfast is good. That's, That's what I'm saying. The cab not trash. So I get a cab by the five, six, two. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the cab not trash. But you know what is a con for show? And this is just Jackson State specifically. The area surrounding the school. Oh, yeah, it's bad. The city of Jackson is absolutely trash. <laughs> I'm so sorry for those who They never going to sponsor you now. And grew up here. <laughs> like, when you make it big, they're going to be like, you know, it started at Jackson State. They're going to be like, they're never going to mess with you because yeah, of this yeah. one episode. I'm right? sorry, but it's like, bro, there's just, the area is just not good. Like, it's Barely not, good food places. Too. Yeah, it's not a lot of good food places. It's not a lot of entertaining places. It's like the same party venues. Yeah. It's not a lot of stuff to do. It's just not a good area. If you want to go have some fun, you got to go to Richmond or Madison. Yeah, you got to go 25, 30 oh, minutes out. Bro. And then the police be stupid. Like, it's 35 police on one street. You go yeah. two miles above the speed limit, you go into prison. Nah, I actually I think the police presence presence here is trash compared to in, big cities. Jackson, no facts. Like, like Jackson, Richmond yeah. and Madison. And like Florida. I went to Denver, and I tell you, I seen absolutely zero police calls. But the moment I seen like a crackhead acting out of line, I seen six police calls. Oh wow! It's like they just magically pop up like in big cities, like you know. Uh-huh. And I really think that got something to do with you see this why this episode should have just been jokes and bad. Because I think this episode, I mean, I think this got something to do with weed being legal. But we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so any more times? Oh, the, the uh, bitch is here. Yeah, that is a con. I would say, got, well, no. gotta be that. I would say it's a young con. Ladies I would say it's a con because of the student population is not as robust as other schools. Yeah. So, so it's not a lot of options. It, it's And the options all know each other. And they yes. They mess you. And yeah. then they all, then they all go join up with sorority, and then they be upset with you, and there's thirty thousand of them on the same line. You talked to my sister. Yeah, yeah I did. First you first just year. Took, you just took Let's up. Talk about first you just took up thirty percent. You just fed up. You just, no, you just took up thirty. Y'all just took up thirty percent of the women population, and now all of y'all, but except one, is off limits. You probably don't even know their middle name for real, because it's sick. No, mind. We got that's another story. Bro, that's another, that's another, that's that's another crazy. video. That's, that's another crazy. video. But you know they have a, I think they have a lot of female. Oh, I know another kind. This is HBCU wide. Foreign foreign teachers. Oh, bro, and foreign, foreign teachers. Yes, bro. Foreign teachers are the worst. I love you because guess what? You're trying. You're trying. And it's not your fault. It's like, you know, you just. Y'all can't fucking teach. Fuck what he talking about. Nah, no, they probably can teach. It's just. They just. They it's can't hard to understand. Yeah. They don't teach. Uh, Cause bro, I had a nah, physics bro. teacher. She was from like India. She no, was the one of the best teachers. Physics teacher, teacher, bro. He swore he could teach. That man cannot teach. All he do is talk about stuff. Like he tells us in class, I was supposed to be a cute woo woo. Like what the fuck? You telling a whole life story during the whole class? And he foreign? Yes. And he expect. Where he from? I don't fucking know. I don't be listening to that. Like, man. I be on somewhere. He he be blowing it, and he just be woo woo. Y'all was supposed to study for y'all tests. I'm like, bro, you don't fucking teach, bro. <laughs> what I was supposed to study? But it's a, yeah, that's that's a bad one because those teachers, especially like when you have like something that hard that needs to be learned. Yeah, like yeah. I had a teacher that was saying something, but he just said, Kapashita. 
capacitor. I swear to God, bro. I was in class. It was me and JP that went to St. Oak, bro. Mm -hmm. I walked out the class, bust out laughing, like screaming in the hallway, bro. Because <laughs> I couldn't understand nothing he was saying, but it was like, it's not your fault. Bang. It's just, and I walked back in the class, I seen him, he went to say it, kapashita. And I walked back out again, bro. It, it was bad. That's another, that's another card. Right, I got it's, another card, too. Oh, you do? You do? Nah, I was about to see if you on pros. I got another card. Uh, the curriculum here. It's not as wide as uh, other schools. Like, we don't have as many options. They're trying to grow it now, mm -hmm. but it's like certain majors that people are limited to, and they don't have like a, a lot of range when it comes mm -hmm. to majors as in comparison to other schools. But I feel like Dion helps that too. Because, like, I feel like just give Dion. No, I feel like he helped. My mom will recover from cancer. Dion! Dion. Yes. <laughs> Dion. Like, how big the Molly Squad is. I feel like that was like a small thing when I first got here. Now it's like everybody wants to be But did Dion do that? That's because of me. I'm not gonna lie. But did Dion do that? He's the voice of the Molly Squad. Right. Dion gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I ain't gonna lie though. To be honest though, I'm lying about the Molly Squad thing. But like when when <laughs> I was on the Molly Squad, it was probably about four four guys. They got they got a decent amount. It's of a mafia. Like, it's go, it's going for y'all to be battling. battling. How do you battle walk? Yes, can saying. you show the camera how you battle walk? I'm saying like <laughs> who has a who has a better walk? That's the most zesty stuff yeah. I've heard in my life. But, they had a model squad battle. No, bro, I swear to God, dude, the dude from all corn, the dude, it was like no, you. no, the dude from all corn and the dude from Jack Stevens was just staring at each other doing poses. I was like, this is the craziest shit I ever seen in my life, bro. But it was entertaining though. Nah, bro. I'd have been so mad. I'd have been like, if you test the motherfuckers, don't get out my face. <laughs> but yeah, we're not gonna keep giving the model squad a lot of light. They they the culture is bad now, nah, I ain't gonna lie, but that's <laughs> This is bad I had another time. Oh, it ain't even shady, I'll speak my mind. I know it quick. Because I it's an interesting perspective for me. Because I went to a PW, <laughs> I went to a PWI first. Mm -hmm. So yeah. another I did. What you school you was? I went to Loyola in Loyola. Oh. I graduated when I was 16 years old. Yeah. Loyola. Yeah. They have one in Chicago, but they have three of them. It's like one Chicago, one in New Orleans, and one somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. But one thing else that going on with the curriculum is the advisement. That like they we have like general advisement. Like me and you go to the same advisor. That should not be the case when we have two different majors. Yeah. The same like how can you you don't know what I exactly need. Like yeah, yeah. you know, I, you need major specific advisement. I know a lot of PWIs have it, maybe a lot of HBCUs have it, mm -hmm. but that really shocked me when I came here. Yeah. I was like, that's just ridiculous. That's I, right. I agree with that. So any pros? Pros to Jack State. Oh, we got more cons. Oh, yeah, you got more cons? Yeah. Damn, you about to make people hate that shit. No, I love because the pros is going to be so long. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. Um, but check it out. Con. <laughs> the housing. <laughs> Damn. The housing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, nasty as hell now, Alexander. Y'all like, be I wish, I, I wish, I wish we could flip this camera, but it's like, I just feel like no, y'all put enough care when it comes to. But I also housing. feel like that's on y'all too, though, because y'all don't put enough care. No, no, this is what I'm saying. No, this is what I'm talking about. There's black stains all in the carpet. But like, that does not come from housing. That comes from people like of care of housing. No, I'm saying. You know people are going <laughs> Arguments you know, no. in the seeds. No, because you know people are going to, you know. That's just like a hotel. You wouldn't accept uh, if a hotel room was clean. I would you. If, I mean, dirty if you're paying for it. We pay three thousand something dollars a semester for these rooms. But the kids here are, are stingy. Like, for example, like it's another con. Y'all last one, the biggest artist in the world, like Lil Baby. Lil, Lil Baby. Baby. But only want to pay $15 for the student activity Exactly. Exactly. So now we got to be stuck with niggas like Moneybag. All Yellas we have is Moneybag. He didn't even bring a featured artist. Exactly. Why am I complaining? Why? I was at band practice. Actually, Jackson State couldn't afford a featured artist. Why? Yeah. Yes, that's because that's the because activity fees. Yeah. Yeah. Why would it? It, at least be ESTG and money back. Hell yeah. That's yeah. focus. Oh, on something. Damn. You, I could have did finesse two times, even though he got a little. little hey, I could have did something. Yeah. It really could have They could have put me out there. Clark yeah. Atlanta Spellman, they had the whole the whole industry at that shit. Here is another time. And this is more catered towards uh, the women mainly. Um, he just the, hate all women at GSU. No, no. Rams hate no, all women at GSU. That's the name of the, of the you, video. You're not, you're, you're about to get what I'm saying. The lack of care when it comes to campus police when they were putting oh, things to them. He loves all women at GSU. See, that's what Rams I'm saying. loves all women at GSU. <laughs> like, I've just heard stories from different women uh, where they say that they've reported something to campus police and they kind of just either sweep it under the rug 
don't take it as serious or just don't have as much though? care as they should. That's that's like that's that's United States wide. That's, that's real bad at PWI. Really, it's terrible. Like the Title Nine and stuff like that that people like uh, don't know about and go through. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. terrible all across the United States, especially mm -hmm. at these uh, big white institutions because they don't want anything to slander their name. They just sweep it under the rug. So Which I wouldn't even say that's Jackson State. I think that's just worldwide. worldwide like, take care of women, bro. Yeah, take I care of women. Women deserve. Think every person on this earth was cared by a woman. Literally, literally, nobody, nobody is here. So, any more comments? Yeah, that's it. I ain't gonna say what I was gonna say. Any more comments? Um, let's think. Let's think. It might pop up on me, but yeah. let me go to the pros. Let me go to the pros. Pros. Deion Sanders. <laughs> the Sonic <laughs> Boom of the South. That too. No, 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 no. Listen, I don't wanna hear all that Deion stuff. Kappa before Alpha side. Before Deion got here, yeah. people came yo, here because of the boom. Yo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> people came here because of the boom. <laughs> with, but I ain't gonna lie, like with Dr. I, I could like no, first bro. year, bro. No, Jack bro. State was just trash, bro. We was, not, we, that was the worst HBCU. Like who the fuck no. gonna go Jack State? You are bro. Now listen, listen. We had before when Dr. This bitch got lit. What you talking about? That's not true, bro. Our games were sold out freshman year and with the coach. Who's the band, bro? You yeah. band, nigga, wanna see the band? You, no, bro, you was in the band football, bro. The whole school used to stay for the fifth quarter. Really? Yeah, like, come on now. We we always had it. That's every agency. That's not the culture here. Ain't nobody going to Pine Bluff and stand for the fifth quarter. <laughs> Who and wants the, to watch The culture here was, uh, was great in 2020. When, 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 when did you come here? 2019? Yeah, yeah, the culture. Jackson State is fucking sad. Like, I think Jackson State been popping. It's just Dion bring a national spotlight to yeah, yeah. National, national spotlight world. in the sport world. Like, bro, think about it. Bro. This because video, the, the school hasn't changed or improved or uh, decreased at all. Like, still the same housing. There's no cha major change. It's literally just in the sport. Like, Dion, I think you got to think about two videos. Dion help your videos up because motherfuckers just want to search JSU. Yeah, exactly. And now they finding like Mike and Joe man. He helped everybody, bro. That's why I fuck with that nigga, bro. He, he wants some Dion dick. Bro, that's just crazy, bro. <laughs> that nigga really helped us, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be fucking up our bikes, bro. I had to pull it up. But what am I to say? Dion, it, that, that is a pro. Dion is a good I think he's going to be gone in like three years, though. Soon no, as, no, soon no, as no, no. Dion is gone. about, this is what y'all don't know. Nick Saban is about to retire. And he is about to go coach at Alabama. He's not. No, he's not. Why do y'all think that he's, he's not? not? I'm, not, not, going, I'm, not, about the I'm not going to be on Snapchat over here, but I'll oh, tell you why. Okay. Oh, you know what the pro is? It's like family oriented. Like, like, yes. like, if you go to Southern, bro, if you go to Southern, bro, it's not like everybody. But that ties, everybody. In, that ties into one of the cons, though, about everybody knowing everybody. Yes, that's a con as well. It's like, it's like, oh my God, you, if I'm beefing with you, I'm beefing with the whole 800 building. Yeah. But it's like, you know, like, it's family oriented. We're going to ride with you. But when it's beef, it's over with. You might as well transfer. You might as well transfer. Like, yeah, people yeah. really, like, it'd be like, man, I know, especially after, like, pledging, bro, you get to know so many people. Bro. And, that's another con. Joining a Greek organization, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's, it's not a con. con. It's not a con. It's a, tell, say the reason. It's a con. I don't, I don't want people it's to a pro that. and a con. It's a pro and a con. Let me tell you why it's a con. I'm gonna tell you why it's a pro and I'm gonna tell you why it's a con. It's a con because I think y'all all can agree. I have never had more drama being surrounded, like surrounding me, mm -hmm. or just in my life. Before joining a Greek organization, yeah, you wake up oh, to drama. You graduated. You lie again. My drama is your drama. I got drama right now. Think about it. You wake up every day. It's a new. It's a new problem. You hear me? Even in the summertime, bro. <laughs> that shit was different, bro. But nigga, wake up, bro. You ain't even at school to new drama every day, bro. Like, how are we Twitter beefing? And bro, what? <laughs> Come on, bro. That's one thing I refuse to do, bro. I even not about to Twitter beef with nobody. I'm Internet beef. I ain't gonna lie. And Twitter, Twitter beef at JSU go crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. They go they hard in the real paint, hard. Bro. You remember when self tweeting used to be a thing like in middle school? Niggas don't even self tweet no more. Niggas add to the mood. Like it's Jesus bullshit. Christ. But what was the pro about? You no, know, we matter of fact, that's a separate video. Y'all gotta y'all gonna have to tune into that. It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. It's gonna be on my life though. Yeah. But uh, another pro I would say is. Dang, no. It's just, it's just so. I mean, Jackson State is a big pro. Period. Like, don't get me wrong. Like all the cons we talked about in the, in the beginning of the video, don't let it deter you from. Cause this, I ain't gonna cap. 
I ain't living a long time. And I'm only 21, but these have been the best four years of my life. Literally, the you know, years. like I have, I met some Slash people. stressful years of my yes, life. Yes, that, but that's what it's supposed to be. Life for sure. You know, I have met some people that I'm like, y'all too, you're literally going to be in my wedding. Like, yeah, you know, y'all like going to be friends, Uncle BJ, Uncle Rap. So, who's going to be Nigga, don't play with me. Who's going to be the best man tomorrow? I don't know. I'm gonna let y'all rock paper scissors over it, man. Um, Cause we, I, nigga, like I people be saying that we not close, but I feel like we all eat. Like I love all y'all with all my mic, bro. Give me a hug for camera. My best man gonna be Caleb, so my little brother. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> uh, next topic. Damn. Um, oh Johnson. lord! Shout out to my little brother. Oh my god! Yeah, shout out to. We want to cut some of this video. How? Oh. oh god! I really have a brother named Caleb. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I know you do. I'm your brother. I understand. <laughs> it's just. Alright, no, no, <laughs> listen, okay. <laughs> well, back to back to pros, though. <laughs> uh, the girls' pro- basketball team, right yes, there. bro. They and they and they just beat uh Texas Tech. Fuck you know we almost about? beat LSU, bro. We fumbled the LSU game. LSU didn't beat us. We lost that game, bro. Yeah, yeah. We was leading with like a minute left in the fourth quarter, and they just fumbled. And they just fumbled the bag, bro. That that was crazy. The girls' bro. basketball team is bro. The girls' soccer team is, is bro. bro. The girls' volleyball team, baseball, tennis, tennis team, team too. Bro. All of the girls' teams are great. They have good sports, girl and girls. And no, in everything <laughs> before Dion got here, the only problem was basketball and football with men. That was it. Yeah, we yeah. won. We went everything. It was track. Yes. We're good. If we had them on the team, I would be on. We do have on the team. Oh, and another. Oh, I got one more. Oh, comment. Comment. I knew we had something. To I got one more comment before we end this video. This Jackson State, if you come in this damn the Chicago University, bro, no, they no, got so many Chicago over, motherfuckers. It's over literally G University. G A G A G G. G. A game. No, no. <laughs> merch. Merch for real? Merch. Yeah. Oh, God. No. Oh, David Gray. Y'all ain't got no academic pros? Nah. Academic mean. pros, they do. Uh, uh, Jackson State is one of the leading HBCUs in getting uh, black kids to medical school. Oh, okay. Uh, also, we have a do we have a leading innovation center here, yeah. like with 3D printers and things like that. Our business and finance, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to cut a promo, but our business and finance departments are actually great. Ralph can probably give you some yes. more information on that. Yeah. Like he has an internship. Every single person I know that has a business, that's going to school for business, begin the internship. I swear I always say I should go to school for business. I literally went, just, I stumbled upon my internship, which has turned into And now you have a full-time time job, yeah. I literally have a full-time job at Walmart. Because I'm in the college of business, so one day they had some Walmart Walmart executives here meeting students and having a private dinner, and I was just walking in the engineering building and I walked past them sitting outside, so I invited myself to go outside and go talk to them. So I went out and talked to them. I was persistent. I was like, "Hey, you know, what I'm saying I know it's kind of late. I know y'all already did your interviews stuff like that, but I really like to get in contact with somebody where I could get a, a possible interview for an internship." So here goes the pride about the group life. Uh, one of my fraternity brothers um, was one of the CEOs, so I ended up speaking to a meeting with him. It's a guy by the name of Myra Fraser, and um, shut up, Myra Fraser. Yeah, and uh, he got me the position basically as the internship. So I went down, interned in uh, where the head, where the home office. That boy is. had a whole house. Yeah, well, partying with the with the folks <laughs> in the house. <laughs> yeah, so in Ray's boom boom room. <laughs> Mike's boom boom. Oh Lord. oh Lord, but yeah, overall Jackson State is an amazing experience. It has made. I give it about, about a seven point five. Now you're lying. You're no. lying now. No, you're lying. And guess what? When you graduate, you're gonna wish that you never said that. <laughs> you're gonna say eleven out of ten. I give it. I give it about. A I give Jackson State a, 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 a twelve. Point. Oh, wow. I give it a toy, bro. I wouldn't take it back from in the world. I wouldn't either. With all this no, folks, I love my experience. I with love, all these folks, I would never. I couldn't imagine going anywhere else. I couldn't either. I was supposed to go to Clark Atlanta. I could not imagine. Bro, I was supposed nah, to go to Clark Atlanta. I can't lie. I've been turned Atlanta. Been turned oh, Atlanta. another. This before we end the video. This is another pro. You find your best friends in college. I fuck with that too. Yeah. Like, that is true. Facts. So facts. I do fuck with facts, bro. No, just fuck me, huh? I'm just a person. You don't fuck with me. I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't come here looking for love either. Just come to school, bro. Just have a good time. Jackson right. State gonna break your heart. Jackson yeah. State will break your heart, but I feel like it is possible that you can find. Yeah, yeah it is possible for sure. Yeah. But I'm saying, don't don't come here looking for that though. I'm in my lover boy ladies right now, so you know, niggas that's, that's really love boy. Cause then you go next thing you gonna know you are gonna be in uh in these apartments knocking on door five thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Talking about opening the door, you need some dicks.